And on that feast day, we honor Joseph, the chaste husband of Mary, Jesus' earthly father and patron of all workers through the beauty of faith. <music> Joining me now on Skype to help us celebrate this day through art is Jim Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Jim, welcome back to the show. So good to see you. Thank you, Tracy. It's always good to see you, and thanks for having me. Absolutely. So St. Joseph has two feast days on the liturgical calendar. Can you tell us about the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker? Sure, you're right, Tracy. You know, St. Joseph has two feast days in the church's liturgical year. The first is March 19th, Joseph, husband of Mary. And the second is today's feast, St. Joseph the Worker. And it was Pope Pius XII who, in 1955, added this feast to the church's calendar uh, to highlight the Catholic belief in the sacredness of work and the dignity of all workers. Uh, there are no spoken words of St. Joseph recorded in the Gospels, uh, but the actions of St. Joseph speak louder than any words he may have spoken. Uh, because God entrusted his son Jesus and his mother Mary uh, to the care and protection of St. Joseph. What a great privilege to be entrusted with that work. And we know St. Joseph responded with great faith in God as he carried out his work. We know St. Joseph was a carpenter, and it was through his manual labor as a carpenter that, that he provided for Jesus and Mary. But it was also his way of fulfilling his greatest work, which was to be the guardian of the Redeemer of the world. Jim, can we talk a little bit more about this beautiful painting from the National Gallery of Art? What do we see in it? Sure, this beautiful 16th century Italian painting is the work of Vittore Carpaccio. Uh, he was a painter from Venice, and the Venetian painters loved to paint the natural world. And they often set gospel scenes in these elaborate landscapes. Um, here, Carpaccio sets the gospel scene of the flight into Egypt against a green landscape with clouds and streams and hills and trees and winding roads. Um, we see Mary clothed in an ornate cloak. Uh, she's holding the baby Jesus very close to her as they're seated on a donkey. And St. Joseph, with his staff in hand, uh, is leading them down a dusty road as they flee from Herod, who is wanting to kill the infant Jesus, the newborn Jesus. If Joseph takes another step, he walks right out of the painting. There's this sense of urgency and the sense of movement as we see St. Joseph caring for the Son of God and his mother Mary in this great moment of distress. Jim, what are some of the lessons that maybe we can take away from St. Joseph and then apply to our daily lives? You know, Tracy, St. Joseph is the patron saint of work, and workers, and he's a powerful intercessor uh, for us during these difficult days of a global pandemic. Those who may be struggling with a sense of anxiety and stress about their work, uh, just struggling with a sense of the value of their work, uh, will find in St. Joseph a model of quiet trust and confident faith in God's providential care. With the work of his hands, St. Joseph provided for the needs of Jesus and Mary, and his example of faith in God uh, gives us a path to follow in these challenging times. Well, Jim, thank you so much for joining us and sharing this beautiful picture with us. We really appreciate it. Jim Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Tracy.